Okay, the second aspect around social media is um, syndicating your content. The idea being every time you post something to your website, you want that content to be syndicated as much as possible to as many places as possible. Now, in the last uh, video we talked about making it extremely easy for your visitors to share content um, for themselves. What we're going to do now is make it so that your content, once you uh, make a, a post or a page to your um, website, all of that content gets syndicated out to various social media sites. So I'm going to, I'm not going to go through the entire process, but I'm going to show you in concept how to do it. And the, the trick here is to use a tool, an online tool called Hootsuite. It's this guy right here. So what you want to do is you want to go here, scroll down to settings, and choose RSS Atom, and then choose social networks, and you want to add a social network. Okay, so this is connect with Twitter. All right, let's go to Twitter and create my account. Here's the account. Let's go to email, confirm your Twitter account, click on the link. Okay, so Twitter's good to go. All right, go to Hootsuite, connect with Twitter. Authorize the app. And it takes a few seconds for this to work. Okay, so Ultimate WP is set up. Now you want to do the same thing with Facebook. Add social network. Go to Facebook. Connect with Facebook. Log into Facebook. And allow. So now it's going to ask you which Facebook fan page. So you have to find it. This might be kind of hard. That's the first one. So click on that icon. And then finish importing. And then you're done. So what I've done here is I've syndicated your content out to f your Facebook fan page and your Twitter account. You can do a whole lot of other things here too. Um, chief among them is <clears throat> using a service called ping.fm. If you set up ping.fm ahead of time, create a bunch of accounts at different social media sites, and then tell ping to syndicate whatever gets posted to it, out to those you know dozens and dozens of sites um, you can set Hootsuite up in kind of a daisy chain fashion such that whenever you create a blog post Hootsuite picks up that blog post via RSS which is the next step we have to take and then what happens is Hootsuite pushes that content out to your Facebook fan page out to Twitter and out to ping.fm once ping.fm gets it it syndicates all of that stuff out into all those other social media sites you set up. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Let's go to the next step. So we go to RSS Atom. We add a new feed. We type in the feed URL. So typically the feed URL for a WordPress site is the domain name. forward slash feed and then you tell it what profiles to send to so we had what the ultimate guide to WordPress and we had a Twitter account to ultimate WP 
We're just going to do those for now. So there are the icons. Check this feed for new posts every hour, two hours, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, or 24 hours. Depends on the interval at which you uh, create content. Uh, you, I would suggest to go with an hour, two hours, or three hours, because I don't like to wait. So I go with an hour, five posts at a time. You can say, um, you can prepend text to each message that says new. And then you can use a URL shortener like alley.com, well, alley.loi. And then you click Save Feed. Once that's done, anytime you create a blog post or a, or a website piece of content, that content is going to get syndicated, in this case, out to Twitter and Facebook. If I were to set up ping.fm or any of these other social networks like LinkedIn, WordPress, MySpace, Foursquare, or Mixi, I'd, I'd have content syndicated all over the web. That serves at least two purposes. Purpose number one is more people will have a chance at seeing your content because they may they may look at Twitter but not Facebook. They may they may never go to your blog. They may go to LinkedIn and see updates there because they're business minded. Um, so you're going to get more people to see your content. Um, you might, therefore, you'll get direct traffic from that content syndication because the idea being, people are going to see that content. They're going to like what they see. They're going to click through to your to your website. So now you have a new visitor. The second way it benefits you is every time there's a link from one of those syndication sites back to your site, that's called a backlink. And because most of these social sites have high authority, lots of traffic, high page rank, um, lots of their own backlinks, all of that stuff contributes to boosting you in the ranks for your chosen keywords. So that's why it's really important to continue to make content that's based on your keywords and keyword phrases. All right. So that's content syndication in a nutshell.